In today's video, we'll be looking at how we can use Bibles in ProPresenter and how you can easily bring the scripture into your service. Let's get started. So here's our ProPresenter window. Now, here is my example service that we've been working on so far in our videos. And what we want to do is down here in the message or the sermon section, we want to add some scripture like this one. So we've got some titles, some points, and all of those examples that you can download from ProPresenter and from Renewed Vision. And so we want to be able to add some scripture like this. So let's delete this so we can start from scratch. Now, the first thing you need to take notice is normally up the top here in this edit toolbar, there is a Bible symbol. Now, you might have that already. If you don't have that, like me, we need to go and get it and add it. So we're going to go up to ProPresenter. We're going to go to Preferences, General. In the General of Preferences, we're just going to tick Show House of Worship Integrations. And you'll notice straight away the Bible has appeared up here and we've got a store over here. So now we can go and find our Bibles. So if I click Bible, it brings up a different screen and it's kind of like its own little editor for the Bible. So we have no Bibles installed. You may have a Bible installed, you may not, but we're going to do this from scratch. So no Bibles installed. I'm going to Options. You can purchase Bibles if you have a registered version of ProPresenter or there are some free options. So for today, we're just going to go and install the King James Version of the Bible. So this will take a couple of minutes, not too long. But if you scroll down, you can see there's a few different languages here. Um, and they've recently released more Bibles and more languages. Okay, so there is our Bible. It's installed. Now, the way that we use this is we want to find the Bible verses. So, a few options here. If we had multiple versions, we could choose the version. We can choose the verse and what we want it to look like and our reference, which we won't look at yet. So, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to look up Colossians 3.17, and I'm going to press enter. And so here is our slide with Colossians 3.17. The other option you can do is to tick this little arrow, go and find your Bible book, your chapter, and your verse. And there it is there. Now, you might decide that you want to add some verses to that. And so down here, you can add the previous verse and add the next verse. So if I wanted Matthew 10, 5 to 10, I could do that. And now I have 5 to 10. If I wanted to add 1 to 10, I can do this. And now I have, I've gone one too far. But you get the idea. Um, if I wanted to, I could go back up here. And the other way you can do it is you can type in just the number. So if I typed in Colossians 317 and hit enter, it's going to go to 41. The reason it does that is because when you don't put in the dots or the colon, what it does is it reverts back and tries to take a guess at what you're trying to do. So the easiest way to do it is just to make sure you put in that colon, press enter, and it'll look up your verse. Over here, we also have a search box where we can search for things. Now, the next step, once you have your Bible verses, is you want to set up how they look. Now, at the moment, this is already set up in mine, but if I go over here to options, before we're in the Bibles, this time we're going to click on slide options, and we're just going to take a look at the options here. Now, just remember that these options will stay the same whenever you look up a Bible verse and add it in here. So I could have the option to show the verse number, to break on a new verse, so a new slide for a new verse, to display what translation it is. I could preserve the font color from this theme. So that's for like red letters with Jesus talking. I could have the verse references. I could have the passage of each. So that means display the entire passage reference on each slide. Or I could have no reference. So you've got options here. This part down here where our theme is, is how our Bible is going to look. Now, if you've watched my lower thirds video, <coughs> that is where this theme comes from. But we're going to go from scratch today. So if I had my Bible set up and I'd like to make them look a certain way, 
I'm just going to go and I'm going to add a new theme and I'm going to call it the Bible theme just for now. So it's nice and easy. This opens up this editor, which is sort of like our slide editor, but we're actually not in slide editing because that's our slide editor. We're actually in the theme editor. So it's creating a new theme. We've got our lower thirds theme from our other video on lower thirds, and we've got our test theme we've been working on in the background. But what we do here is we can design our theme for our Bible verses. So I might want to open something and add it in. So let's say I just want it across the middle of the screen. I might just add in a nice rectangle here. Something like so. So it's about even. And I might send my rectangle to the back and I might make my rectangle white. And we might just fade it down a little, which means my text is going to be black. Something like that. And so that's my theme. Now, what this means is where the text box is, the Bible text will fit into this box. If I wanted it bigger, I can just make my text bigger. And the other thing I would really recommend doing here is making sure you've got text scaling turned on. So for me, what I like to do is once I'm at church and I figured out what size looks good on my screens, I'm going to stick with that size. I'm then going to turn on text scaling to scale down to fit the container. Why do I only choose down? Because if 60 is the nice size for me at my church, I always want my Bible verse to be at 60. The only exception to that rule is if the Bible verse is too long to fit on here, it will automatically make it a little bit smaller so it fits inside this text box. If I chose scale up, if I had a really short Bible verse like Jesus wept, it would make those words as big as possible to fill up this box and it would be gigantic. So I like to have this as my standard size and then if it's not going to fit, we're going to scale it down to fit. And remember, if it's too small because your Bible verse is really long one week, we can always use the reflow button to create multiple slides so that they're at a decent size. So that is an easy fix. So there is my theme. So I'm going to go back to the Bible, back into options. I'm going to choose my theme, Bible theme, new template, and there's my theme. So you can see what it looks like there. And what I'm going to do with this now is I need to get it out of the Bible editor. So what you'll notice is, here is my presentation, here is my Bibles. So how do I get it back across to where I need it to go? Well, down the bottom left here is this Save As button, which sounds a little bit confusing because ProPresenter doesn't actually have any saving going on. But if you click that, what it gives you is options. So I can save the Bible verse as its own presentation. So remember a presentation is these little segments or parts of a service. So like this MC spot two is a presentation, sample presentation, nothing else is a presentation. I can save it to a playlist. So I can send it straight over to a playlist and choose where I want it to go. Or I can copy it to the selected presentation. And now this just depends on how you do things. So for us, I would have my service set up like this out of presentations. And then what changes each week is in here in the sample presentation. So if I went through my service each week, all that I'm doing to set up my service is these slides are usually the same because my MC spot stuff stays pretty similar. I might just drop out a song and I'd go into songs and I'd choose another song and I'd drag it and drop it into Sunday at 9 a.m. and swap out whatever song we're playing for this song here. My MC spot two stays the same because it's the same sort of thing every week. And then my message slides change. And so what I'm going to do then, because my message slides change, is I'm going to actually copy it to a selected presentation. So I just need to make sure I've selected where I want it to go over here. So if I wanted it on uh, Sunday 3 p.m. MC spot one, I do that and then click copy but I want it at Sunday 9 a.m. in the message or sermon presentation. And I'm going to copy it to that presentation. 
So now when I open it, it's put it here at the end of the presentation. And if I wanted it somewhere else, I could just drag and swap it. And that's easy as. Now, if I click on that, it's not actually showing up here and that's okay because it's got to do with our looks and themes and things like that. But it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. If we flick back here and we make it nice and long, you'll see here our options at the moment are turned on so that it breaks on a new verse. So I get a new slide for every verse. So if that's how you want it. You can automatically do that and break on the new verse and then automatically send it to where you need it to be. So it's nice and quick and easy. Your other options, if I turn that off, is to have it all in one slide. If I say turn off display transition, uh, not transition, sorry, translation, you'll notice it's not actually on this slide. But if we tick that box, it should say on this slide somewhere that we're using the King James Version. And so just have a play around with these to see what you would like it to look like on your screen. Now, the other thing I just want to go through really quickly is what happens if you end up with lots of text on a slide and you're not super happy with it. So if we just copy this over to our selected presentation, you'll see here we've got a nice Bible verse and you might have multiple Bible verses on the one slide instead of having a separate slide for every verse, but you may end up in this scenario where it doesn't look very good. And so what we want to be able to do is just quickly rearrange that so we can use the reflow tool. So if I choose my slide, click reflow, you'll notice it opens that presentation. And so here on my verses, we have lots of text. Now over on the left here, it shows us the text on each slide. And so what I can quickly and easily do is look at it and go, okay, here's a good amount. Let's make it a new slide. So if I wanted to say here after Lord full stop, or let's go before 21, sorry. If I insert that slide break there, it puts it all on a new slide. I go, okay, that looks a bit nicer. I might go here before 24, insert slide break, new slide. And so now you can see it's sort of spread out. Now you might still not be happy and you might go, okay, we'll put that one there. Um, we might want to just split that one up as well. And it's looking a little bit nicer to read as we flick through our presentation. So it's just a nice, quick, easy way to rearrange your Bibles if they're not quite in the nice sort of look that you're after and you want to just spread out the text a little bit more. Because sometimes it is hard because some verses are really long, some verses are really short. And so we do just need to do that quick rearrange at the end. And so now you can see we've got all our verses put in there and they're all looking nice as well. So that is our Bible verses. If you do have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And of course, click that like button if you are enjoying this content so that more people can find it. Thanks for watching, guys.